This is Ben with Robinson Reconnaissance, and I'm excited to bring you the first episode of Robinson Lander. The Robinson Lander series will feature me overlanding, camping, jeeping, going out there in the great outdoors. I hope you guys enjoy this new adventure content, and hopefully it inspires you to get out there and go on your own adventures. I went out on a solo camping trip with my dogs, and here's the video. Just gassing up here.
today we have the first episode of Robinson Lander and uh, I'm doing a solo camp trip here tonight up in the mountains of Colorado. Here's a quick look at the campsite. I'll give you a look here. Surrounded by BLM. Some really cool rocks. And here's camp set up here. These little knuckleheads. Here's the dogs. This is Mika. She's the red-headed husky, and this is Luna. She's the black and white husky. They're just chilling right now. They're a little tired. They've been horse playing. Here's another view camp. Not too shabby. There's trees all around, which is awesome. Here's the first fire pit, pretty good size. That's where I came in. There's the Jeep. This is currently stock, so this is on 33 inch tires, uh, BF Goodrich KO2s. And it's a Rubicon edition, so there's a little bit more room in the flares. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be getting a 2-inch lift. And then I'll also be getting bigger tires. So I'm going to be putting 35s on. And so this is kind of a good before look. And then I'll give you the after eventually. Yeah, here's a look at the site. Plenty of room here for more cars. There's another fire pit. This is the fire pit I think I'm going to use tonight. And here we've got the, the Big Agnes tent. Uh, this is a two-person tent. So it should be about big enough for me and my two dogs here. Here's the entryway. And did a little lean to here. It's not perfect, but it'll work just just for one night tonight. Got my cooler, a light under there, a um, little plastic container as a table, and my little chair, some water. Here's another view from this side. Pretty flat spot right here, luckily. Yeah, so if it rains, it's been raining all day. It rained the whole way coming up here today and hailed. So hopefully with this shelter, I'll be good. I've got the rain tarp on there, so hopefully I'll stay dry. The thing that really pisses me off is there's glass all over here, bullet casings from, from ammo, just all sorts of trash, which I'm going to pick up, do something good before I leave, do a good deed of the day here. But it's like when I want to bring my dogs out here and there's broken glass everywhere, not exactly ideal for these guys because they're running around like crazy. What can you do? Mika. Yeah, so that's camp for the night.
make these guys some dinner now. Here, they're gonna wait in the car. Let's go, Lou. Good girl. Come on, Meek. Yeah, good girls. Make you some dinner. You guys want some dinner? Yeah, you do. Okay, make you some dinner. Sun's starting to set, getting darker. Should probably get a fire going and make some food. Hello. You got a cool light on there. What about you, Meek? Hi. And dinner this evening is a mountain house going with the chicken fried rice. I found that's a pretty good go-to. It's always pretty steady Eddie. And I'm gonna put some chicken in it. Uh, some chicken breast. Boneless skinless chicken breast. I think it's gonna be a pretty good meal. We'll see. And I'm using the jet boil here. So that's how I'm making dinner.
And this is a cool thing I picked up. This is uh, the Light Ranger from Devos Outdoor. It's got multiple settings and you can also adjust it. So it's you can raise it, lower it. Devos Outdoor. And it's got a pretty sturdy base to it here. I'm getting smoked out. Cool thing I like about it is just self-standing. And you can raise it, lower it. I'd say that looks pretty good. I'm in the tent now in my sleeping bag and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Here's these guys. Mika's out right there. Good night. Good morning. I uh, slept pretty well last night. Slept like a champ. Pretty much slept all through the night. And uh, yeah, we're going to get up in a bit, make some breakfast, and get back at it, pack things up a little bit, and then uh, clean up camp.
trying these coffees today. I guess we'll see if they're any good. They're pour overs. Coffee done. I'm going with the biscuits and gravy for breakfast. There's the before. One and a half cups of water, give it a little stir. Uh, so this will be part one of my adventure. I'm uh, packing up here this morning and heading to Rocky Mountain National Park. I'm going to meet my uncle and a couple friends out there. Uh, they're camping as well, so uh, that'll be night two of this adventure. And uh, yeah, just finishing my breakfast here and my coffee, and then uh, going to head out, take the dogs here, pack up, and uh, head to Rocky Mountain National Park. <laughs> These are along the edge of the campground. I kind of want to build some similar ones like this at my property. Kind of a cool fence just to divide your property up. camp main way I came in 
There's a little trail here. I don't know what the heck's back here, but let's give it a go here. It says no camping here. Not a designated route for motorized use. But there's tracks. Looks like somebody came back here. Pretty cool rocks. Think, Hamika? You hear a car driving by over there. Kind of overcast right now. Oh, there's a little bird egg. Stop it. A little bird egg. Oh, and someone's shotgun shells. They didn't pick up. I'll have to pick those up. Aspen Grove. Apparently there's mountains all back there. It gets pretty thick back in here. These guys smell something. Some bear scat. They go crazy here, they smell all the smells. Go about 100 miles an hour. This is kind of a cool little rock thing. All sorts of critters in here, I bet. It's been so wet up here. All the trees are budding. Fresh leaves.
Oh, someone had a fire up here. Cool rocks everywhere. My campsite's down there in those trees. Just past that aspen grove here. Come on, guys. Some green moss. Lichen everywhere. Some mushrooms there. I don't know about eating those. I love aspen groves. I bet this just pops in the fall. This is probably nuts in the fall. Little hummingbirds. Hummingbirds everywhere, I can hear them buzzing around. What do you think? What do you guys think? Alright, well, now we're getting back to the trail over here. And someone's little bushcraft shelter. There's a fire, tons of trash. You can hear the road from here, there's a tarp. Looks like whoever was here was just here. I'll have to pick this up. Pots and pans. Huh. Someone's little camp. Some more rocks. They must smell a little ground squirrel trying to pull me. All right, come on guys. There's the trail. Goes back to camp. There's some of the mountains. Now we're on an access road here. Stream. Here's the entrance to the campsite. Good little road back here. Makes it private. And there we are. Back to camp. There's the one fire pit. 
the noble steed. And camp. Where would you guys set up camp with a fire? You have right here? Would you use that one over there? Some cool rocks sit by the camp here. I like this spot. It's private because you got rocks all around you. And you're in this little alcove. The Big Agnes tent. The no cry tarp. That's the way I just came in right there. Well, this has been part one of the Robinson Lander series uh, for Robinson Reconnaissance here. Uh, this is episode one, and I'm going to be filming episode two now, actually. I'm heading to Rocky Mountain National Park to visit with my uncle and a couple friends there. So that'll be episode two of Robinson Lander. And uh, I'm all packed up, completely ready to go here. So this has been a pretty good campsite. It's uh, about halfway in between Denver and uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. So I figured this would be a good st stopping point about halfway. And uh, that's why I filmed episode one here and episode two coming up. Stay tuned. Peace out. <laughs>